Hello everyone, welcome to Aptitude Jab. This set says that there are six students. They conducted an experiment on Ohm's law in their physics lab. I hope you know what Ohm's law is. If you do not, it says that V is equal to IR. That is the voltage is a product of current and resistance. So I represents current, R represents resistance, and V is the voltage. So in this experiment, they measured a set of currents. These are the currents that they measured and the set of resistances is given to us and each student obtained one current and one resistance value but not necessarily in that order listed. To conduct their experiments they each used a unique apparatus from a set of six labeled A1 through A6. So there were six apparatuses that is given to us and we are given some information. So what we will do is for each of these students we will write uh, v is equal to IR. So IR and the product V. These are the six students. Let us make their table over here. A, B, C, D, E, and F. These are the six students. Let us use their initial letters. And we have few things that is uh, the current, the resistance, okay, and obviously we will get the voltage by taking the product of current and resistance. So V is I into R. So we will get the voltage from the given options and then we have the apparatus that they used. Okay, so we will start with some direct information. This Carl measured resistance of 3 ohms while Bina used apparatus A3. So Bina is using apparatus A3 and Carl measured a resistance of 3 ohms. Then we have the student who measured a resistance of 5 ohms did not use a2. So that will come to later because it's a negative statement and that person could have used any other apparatus. The average of the currents measured by Azhar, Bina and Deepinder is 6 amperes. So the total current measured by these three is 18. Now how can we get the value of 18 using three numbers? Uh, see there is only one odd number so it cannot be used. It, if you include 16 that obviously takes it beyond 18 okay so uh, if you include 10 10 4 6 will make it 20 so we cannot use 10 so it is clear that they these three used 4 6 and 8 so these three used 4 6 and 8 so a e and d they used 4 6 and 8 in any no particular order the student who measured the highest current got a voltage of 32 volts and used a4 so highest current is 16 out of these and got a voltage of 32 volts. So that means the person used 16 into 2, that is 32, and used A4 for his experiment. Then the current measured by Ekta is the least. So least current is given to us as 3. So Ekta got a current of 3, and the voltage measured by her is 3 fourths of the voltage measured by the student who used apparatus A5. Okay, so we'll come back to it. First, let us fill this 32 volt student. So it says that 16 into 2, 32. So we know that these three people are using 4, 6, and 8. So only F can use 16 into 2 because this resistance is 3. So 16 into 2, 32. And this person is using A4 as the apparatus. Okay, so 16 is used, P is used, we know 4, 6, 8. So the remaining current should be 10 and that the voltage will be 30. And we do not know the apparatus. Okay. Then another piece of information is that is uh, we have filled this part, this part, and this part. Ekta measured the least current, and voltage measured by her is three fourth of the voltage measured by the student who uses apparatus A5. So we are yet to find who uses A5, but let us use this knowledge of Ekta having a uh, current of 3 and voltage is 3 fourths. Okay, so let us see the possible voltages. We cannot get 2 and 3. Okay, so Ekta has current of 3 and voltage can be uh, uh, resistance can be resistance can be 5, 6, 7, 9. 5, 6, 7, and 9. If she gets a resistance of this is voltage, uh, sorry, this is current and this is resistance. So the voltage she will obtain is either 15, 18. 21 or 27. Okay, 
so that another person who has let us call it uh, v2 okay so this is v1 and v2 so v2 should be 4 by 3 times that is 15 if you take it will be 20 and uh, then it will be 24 28 or 36 so another person should get a voltage one out of these values and what are the uh, the value of current and resistances available okay so the resistances available to that person are among 5 6 7 9 only 5 6 7 9 because these are already used 3 and 2 are already used so that person has also 5 6 7 9 and has currents available as 4 6 and 8 okay now in order to generate 20 we need 4 and 5 but if we take the combination 4 and 5 Ekta is also needing 3 and 5 in that case. So both cannot use the resistance of 5. This part is not possible. So we can remove it. Now, if the person has to get a current of voltage of 24, that means the person has to use 4 and 6. So that means Ekta will also use the resistance of 6. So this is also not possible. Now, in order to get a total of 28 the only possibility is 4 and 7 okay 4 and 7 but in that case ekta should also use 7 so resistance of 7 will not be available to both hence this is also eliminated now for 36 there are two possibilities either the person will use 4 9 or the person will use 6 6 you take 4 9 it will be the same thing that we eliminated for the three cases because ekta is has used the resistance 9 so the person will use 6 and 6 right and we'll get a total voltage of 36 so this person is having 6 6 36 6 into 6 36 that person has used the apparatus a5 okay and ekta has used 9 so her total is 27 her voltage is 27 we are left with 5 6 and 7 and uh, one of them is 6 into 6 that is 36 okay so we have done this also then the last statement and the second one last statement says the sum of the currents measured by the student who used apparatus a1 and the student who measured a resistance of 7 ohms is equal to the sum of the currents measured by azhar and the student who measured a resistance of 6 ohms okay so there are four students one is using apparatus a1 and there is a person who is using resistance 7 ohms is equal to the sum of the currents measured by Azhar and the person who measured a resistance of 6 ohms. Okay. Now see this thing that these people cannot be, these four people cannot be out of those. I mean, these two cannot be out of those. So the four people have to be among them. Okay. And the currents 3 and 16 are not available. So we have to choose two values out of these four that add to the same total okay so we have to make two pairs so if you see these numbers because 3 and 16 are not available in that case so the only possibility that we have now 16 is entirely not available because it is not apparatus a1 it is not 7 ohms and it is not other and it is not 6 ohms also so 16 is completely eliminated if you take 3 3 is an odd number okay and odd plus even if you take because other person will have even current that is the only odd current so odd plus even will make it odd but we will have two other even numbers that will be even so we can eliminate e also from that case we do not have these two people hence these four people have the property that the sum of their currents is like they will get in the pairs will be same so what do we get is 4 plus 10 is 6 plus 8. Okay. So the condition that we get from this case is 4 plus 6, 4 plus 10 and 6 plus 8. Right. So that is 14, 14 for both. Now we need to see that how are we going to map it. So the current measured by student who used apparatus A1 and the student who used measure a resistance of 7 ohms. So A1 and 7 ohms, this total is 14, okay. And then we have equal to the sum of the currents measured by Azhar and resistance of 6 ohms, okay. So we know that C is one of them. So C, 
this is C and we need to add 4 with someone. Okay. So if we take, let us say uh, we need to map 1 person 4 and 2 persons 6 and 8. So other can be paired with the other is paired with the person who measured 6 ohms. So this person is measuring 3 ohms. So other cannot be 4 because we map other here that should go with 6 ohms. Okay, so other cannot be this in this pair. So other has to be in this pair. Now 6 ohms is not other. So other is 8 because 6 ohms is going with 6 amperes. Okay. So other measured 8 amperes. Okay. And then we have the person, uh, one person is other with 8 amperes that has to go with 6 amperes and 6 ohms because we know that one is 6, 6 and that is A5. Okay. Now that person cannot be B because B is using A3. So this person is D that is 6 into 6 total voltage 36 and using the apparatus A5. So this is also done. Now we have found one pair, the other pair is 10 and 4. So 10 and 4. Now for 4, the person is uh, that who used apparatus A1 and resistance of 7 ohms. So the other pair is apparatus A1 and 7 ohms. Now uh, this person is using, uh, is not measuring 7 ohms. So this person will have 7 ohms and the other person has apparatus A1. So we got this thing also figured out. Now we know the total voltage for B is 28 and one of the voltage is left, uh, one of the resistance is left that is 5. So 8 into 5, the voltage is 40 and we are left with the apparatus which will use the second statement who measured a resistance of 5 ohms did not use A2. So this person did not use A2, hence this person will use A2 and we have A1, A2, A3, A4, A5 and other will use A6. So this is how we will complete the table. So it was an interesting set, a challenging one. What was the highest voltage in volts measured by any of the students? So highest voltage is of course 40. What was the resistance measured by Azhar? So resistance measured by Azhar is 5 ohms. In which apparatus did Carl conduct his experiment? So Carl conducted his experiment in A1. Who used the apparatus A4? A4 was used by Falguni. And what was the current measured by the student who used apparatus A1? So apparatus A1 and the current for that student is 10 amperes. So this was the solution to the set and the answers to the questions. Hope you loved solving the set. So please don't forget to like this video.